Hello crochet friends, welcome back. Working on our headband and today we are working on the edging. So we're gonna get ourselves started. I had tucked in all my tails and fastened everything off. Hopefully you have done that too. So we are working with fresh yarn. So we're not attached to our project anywhere. So we wanna take our yarn, make a loop, drop the working tail behind, grab the loop and pull it up on the shank of your hook. All right. Okay, now we're gonna join to our elastic with a slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through and pull through again. Okay, here we go. Mm, I had an extra strand. Let me try one more time. Slip stitch to the elastic. <laughs> Sometimes this DK yarn, it'll do that to us, won't it? Okay, there we go, got it. Now we're gonna work up this side here. So we're gonna do just one side of the headband. We're gonna fasten off, fasten off and then we're gonna do the other side. So I'm going to demonstrate this side and then you're going to reattach and do the other side, okay? The first four stitches of our work right here, is our first one, they're all gonna get single crochets. So these are all single crochets. So there's one, go into the next space, two, that's the second row, third row, three, and there should be one more right there, four. Okay, now we are at this big gap, right? Okay, so let's, in here, we're gonna do four single crochets. And that's gonna space it out good. That's gonna make it look nice. These are all single crochets. That's two, three, and four. This will add a little structure to our work. And then we're gonna just keep going along here, looking for stitches and giving them single crochets. There we go. Um, the whole way along. Just that when you get to these big gaps here, we want four, okay? Um, just spacing wise, four fits good. If you wanna do something different, that's fine, whatever you'd like. Um, oh, I've lost track, how many I did? <laughs> oh dear, one, two, three, four. okay. Four, let's see, that's one. Oh, one more. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, it's gonna look like this, okay? So it's giving structure to the side of the headband. Now we're gonna do one row, I'm gonna demonstrate one. You could do two if you'd like this to be wider. Um, you could do um, even some sort of border on it, um, a scallopy kind of border, anything. So this is, you know, preference, but the point of it is, is that we're trying to build it up a little on the side here where these chains are. See the chain, it can be a little floppy, right? So keep going with this all the way to the other end, joining with a slip stitch. We'll meet up to join for that. Um, and then we're going to attach to the other side. So keep going with your single crochets. I'll see you at the end. Okay, so when you get to this very end again, you've done your four here, you're gonna have four rows, just like we did at the very beginning of single crochets. So there's one, two, okay, three, and four. And then we're gonna fasten off. We have one more right here. I'm trying to get in there. It's a little tight because of the elastic, but that's okay. There we go, okay, I got it. Single crochet. Okay, so now we're at the end here, and what we wanna do is slip stitch to your tie. So enter your tie, yarn over and pull through, pull through again, so we're slip stitch to it. You can pull it up, we're going to knot off there, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? I know it's a lot, but you're doing great with this. That was a lot of single crochets, wasn't it? <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave this here. I will tuck all that in later on. Get myself all twisted up here. Okay, so this side done. Same thing, other side. So take your yarn, make your loop, drop your working tail behind, get that 
slip knot there up on your shank. All right. Okay, slip stitch onto your loop um, elastic like we did before. Okay, nice little loop, pull it through. Here we go, we're set up, ready to go, okay? So now, first four, here we are, one, two, three, and four. We want to single crochet, and then when you get your chain spaces, four single crochets, right? Two, three, and four. Okay, so that's my first four. And now I'm gonna put four in the space, just like we did on the other side, okay? So keep going with this until we get down to the other end. Here we go. Okay, I am at the other end. This is my last four rows, and they each get a single crochet, just like we did on the other side. Okay, if you'd like, you can go back around again and make it thicker if you would like that. Um, I think that would be pretty too. It would make it a little bit thicker on the on the outside. I, and the possibilities are endless, I really do think. So now we want to go into our elastic, we want to slip stitch. Into the elastic, yarn over and pull through. Pull through again for a slip stitch. We're gonna snip this, or if you'd like to keep going, keep going, okay? Not a big deal. You do you. You could even put beads on the other side, on the sides, anything. I mean, this could be quite ornate. You could put beads in the middle, even along that middle band there. So this is the headband. I'm gonna tuck in all my tails, finish it off, make it all nice and neat. And that's it. I hope you liked this project. I think it's really fun and beautiful. I think it'll be great for summer. Um, I think it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so make lots of these, enjoy it. I enjoyed having you on this journey. Give us a like and subscribe if you'd like to see other videos and projects that we're doing. And that's it, we'll see you next time. Thank you and have a joyful day.